Welcome, welcome everybody. Pursuit here. Playing some Seven Days to Die. We have just found this interesting POI here. This we've actually it's the same kind that we have our base in currently, so it's not like it's overly exciting, but we kind of know what to expect. Um, I was hoping that this little map marker thing that I made would work. Um, I installed something that was supposed to put something on the map, and I could not even see the map. I could not see. The airdrop come by because of all the pollution here, so we have missed out on it. Um, I don't even know where to begin to think that it went. So yeah, maybe we'll stumble across it eventually on accident, because um, we do have a mod that makes it click a little bit, but I don't know. Don't know. There are a few things I would like to have, but I have quite a few of the major items that would be interesting to have. Um, Let's see, this is probably not the one that I wanted to break, but, um, yeah, we'll see. I think I wanted to probably break, I had to at least break that one because you can't get through on this one. So, I think this will probably work good enough so we can get in and out fairly easily with these two broken. Yeah, should be able to jump in and out of here. Yeah, we're good. So we got a door we got to work on down here. Um, I'm gonna break through this. Which, like I said before, we're really not a whole lot better off going one way or another. Um, we'll probably be just fine doing it this way. I did not bring any extra food with me, so it's a good thing that this place should have some. Let's go ahead and block this. So I don't have any. Surprise visitors. That's all we need is somebody to ruin our day by accidentally spawning behind us. Or breaking in while I'm not paying attention as it would be. Because if the code is actually working right, they're not supposed to be able to spawn on site on anything other than natural terrain kind of places. So hopefully that is actually the case. Yeah, this isn't too bad. We're getting through here. Just having steel as an option definitely makes it a lot easier. Okay, so where am I going to put stuff? Um, oh, level 31 mining. Wow, I'm doing good for mining already. I haven't even started actual mining and breaking into stuff. Um, I'm thinking I probably want to throw some stuff... Let's just throw some of this stuff in the garbage here and we'll come back for it because I'm pretty sure my inventory is going to get... Bog down, we'll have to decide what we do and don't want. Um, let's loot the kitchen first. Some water, some water, which I could probably use some water, a little bit of food. Let's go ahead and I'm going to try and eat it from the thing here and see if it actually just wastes it. No, it actually gave it to me. Drink this. It did actually give it to me. So I think it's mainly just server stuff that it breaks. Um, is this give me? It does give you hydration? Well, that's cool. Hydration and fullness. Very few of them do that. You probably just forgot to take it off as an option. Yeah, that I thought was very insignificant amounts. Let's go ahead and take this because I have the mod on that I can turn ovens into fireplaces. Um, I'm currently thinking about also, that looks like I already got that, um, I'm doing a mod to turn the really nice ones into forges. You know, like in the upper class homes and the non-destroyed homes. Um, I did have one from my desert home that I could have done that with. Being that I lost it irregularly, I would, if I do decide to test it, I might just uh, cheat one in and... Say I brought it with me. Can I make a magnum? Yes, these are both magnum parts, and I'm pretty sure I can assemble it. You know, I think all I needed was the parts, so that's probably going to make it so I can make a gun, a full gun, later. So we kind of know the layout of this place. Um, this is a little more secluded than the other one, which might have some benefits, but... I actually liked having mine where I had a nice open road I could run around on, uh, not accidentally 
Sorry, buddy, for stepping on you. Um, not have to worry about trees getting in the way and weird hills and all that kind of funky stuff. So fighting in an, inside a small town, making a home inside a small town, seems like it's actually not a bad idea. Or at least it seems like it's going to work out well for me. What do you have for me, mister? Oh, wow, you've almost got me a whole gun here now. We're going to have a pretty good magnum here when we get back. More gunpowder that I, you know, like I've said before, I don't know about it, I modded the... I got that back there. I modded the other thing that was in the toilet to be gunpowder because I had no purpose in the game. And I figured if it had any purpose, it would be for some kind of explosive or ammunition, something along those lines. So I just did it myself. I feel like it was a... Ooh, we can do it on Ark, so let's do it on Seven Days to Die. Uh, so I just got rid of it. No books. Augur. I'm pretty sure I already have the auger schematic, but since I'm only playing on single player, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Which may level up something, I don't know. It's a little bit strange how it all works, so let's go ahead and eat that. Okay, it actually did give it to me. Good, it's working nice. Lots of nice goodies here, and we're not going to be living here, so we're just going to break these beds and whatever we can out of them. So we really don't need a lot of this stuff. We've got better stuff, so I'm just going to scrap. we got a better bandana already. These boots are pretty good, though. Um, let's scrap this. Let's go ahead and... I'm not going to be cooking anything. Uh, so let's scrap what we... I'm going to recipe scrap this thing, too, so we can get the most metal out of it because, you know, it takes it gives you a lot more it takes way too much to craft. The game doesn't I don't think it gives you proper credit for that kind of stuff. Well 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 we're gonna fill up on a bunch of stuff here before we even get through this. Yeah we're already um We can probably scrap this one because it's definitely not better than what we have. Well, let's just throw some of the others in here because we're already maxing out here. Are these better than what I have? Let's see. No. Is this better than what I have? No, mine was slightly better. This one's actually better. The red tank top. Let's we'll wear that one. We'll scrap this one because we've got so many of them. Um, the green plaid shirt, I don't really know if I have anything better or not. I'm not too worried about it though. We don't need this. Let's we'll scrap that one. You get a lot of good cloth from scrapping, so don't underestimate what you can do with scrapping. And this shouldn't take too long for us to get through. We're doing, like over 50 points of whack here, so... Should be through here before it's a big deal. This is really the last thing down here to do anything with. Um, I don't think I missed anything else, so... Besides breaking some furniture, maybe, for some cloth and wood. See what we get! Oh, good. That's a, gotta be a better hunting rifle part. Than, uh, I don't know if it's gotta be, but... And I don't think I can do anything with gun parts yet. Uh, but let's check out my rifle and see how my rifle's doing. Oh, yeah, my rifle barrel's almost demolished. So, actually, it's great that I can do this because this barrel was going to be the downfall of my gun. The other parts look pretty good. Nice. So, now we have to question, do we save any of this? Do we... Do we scrap it down? Are we going to get better later? Um, do I have an actual cowboy hat? I'm not too worried about a skull cap that's nice level, but the boots. Yeah, this is not 
optimal. Oh, let's go ahead and drink this water, so I've only got one. Um, what else can we do here? I think we've got some tape out there, so if you turn the glue into duct tape, we don't have to worry about it bogging down our inventory. Um, what else do we have here? We got books, we got miso, which actually gives you hydration, which we're already full on our hydration. Oh, we really don't need it. Let's just eat it. Get the metal out of it. Um, what else have we got here? Hats and oh, we don't need these pants. Let's scrap those. A lot of things you can just scrap and not have to worry about them. Um, we're going to be heading back here, so let's take inventory as to what we have that we could get rid of. We can scrap my hammer, which you could throw it into a fire and get more out of it. Let's go ahead and scrap it. Um, what else we got here? We can grab these right now. We're going to have to make a lot of decisions over here on the campfire, though. Um, but I'm planning on heading back. Oh, oh good. Something we can actually pick up. Um, got the cool already. Let's go ahead and grab the wood and stuff from these. So I don't really know that I need this axe anymore. It's looking a little garbage anyway. So we could probably scrap it too. I don't want to get rid of this barrel though because it's not garbage. It's just not the best that it could be. Um, those are used up. We got all this stuff out of the way. We got... Okay, now what do we do? What do we take and what do we leave? Um, this one is still not as good. It's nice, but it's not as good as the one I'm wearing. So let's scrap that. Um, we can scrap this. I think it's just one anyway, so we're not worried about how well it stacks. Um, casings I want to keep because I don't know if I can make more at this juncture. Uh, we've got lots of water, so let's just get rid of those. Um, I know I got a better duster. I really want the eggs. I think I have eggs up there already. Um, let's grab the can here. Recipe. I'll try how many it gives us. Just one. Um, this will only give us one also, so let's go ahead and scrap that. What else are we doing here? We got two books. We got some miscellaneous items. Let's leave this. Let's leave this. I don't know that I'm ever going to use one of those. Give us the leather, the books, the duct tape, and let's take the bones in favor of that knife because I can make another one if I take the bones. And I think, I think that should do us pretty good. And once we put this stuff in the vehicle, we will have a little bit extra. And if we really, really, really want to go back, we can. Um, just because we left it behind doesn't mean it's like has to be considered lost forever. You ever have that moment where you're like, I really don't want to find something good here. Because you know if you do, like this, you know if you do, you have to figure out what you want to dump. Um, actually, I think I can make take advantage of my bike that's over there. Let's hop over the fence. Throw some stuff in our bike. And there's a couple items we can come back for there in a minute. Um, we got duct tape in there. We got brass. We got duct tape. Gunpowder. That's probably all we really need to worry about. Oh, we can actually scrap these too. So we can throw the eggs in there. Recipe scrap these because it's broken. The game is broken. And let's just hop over... What was I going to grab? Oh, the battery. Much better battery. Which we're looking to make an auger here eventually, too, so it might be better to put it towards an auger. Get everything else? I think we got everything else. Um, let's just grab this tire. I think I got at least one more slot on me, and maybe we can find a better tire. 274. I don't know if that's better. Three eighty-one. I could actually, hold one more tire if I wanted to, but I don't need to. So we're gonna go ahead and head back now. It is getting late. Um, we'll just leave our frames behind that we didn't 
make room for, and yeah, I left one on the other side there too, but we're not going to worry about it. Let's head back before dark, and I will run my bike all the way back, because it's got this silly little animation here. I think if you, like, hit reverse and then go forward? No? Nope, you just have to hop off. Let it reset itself. There you go! So, our gas tank is at 24 right now. Let's go ahead and see if that actually works. Um, we can take the gas tank off, put it back on, go out, go back in. I actually think you have to go out like this, and go back in, put the gas tank back on. Huh, I had it. It might be between server resets. I don't know what it is. We're at 23% right now, though. And it's actually paying attention this time. Don't pay attention when I don't want you to. I need to get back first. We do have some extra gas here, though, if we need it. So we're not going to be stuck out here either way. And we're really not that far from base either, so it's not like it's a big deal. So we'll just get back to base, um, dump off our loot, and see what else we can accomplish during the night, because it's almost nighttime now. Um, I'll probably make a few runs back and forth in order to dump off some loot. And who knows, maybe it'll be morning before I even have to deal with it. Um, but I'd really like to get this water cooking up. So let's go park the vehicle. I like to park it out front across the street so that we don't have any random hordes accidentally destroying it. They don't seem to care about it too much when it's sitting over here. Make sure I can't pick up anything else. No, I can't. Come back for the water in a minute. Uh, I'm going to go check on the roof here too, see if there's anything else I can pick up. Um... I need these random... Parts. Yes, we got some. And I would really like to grab... Let's just drop off. What can I leave behind? I would like to grab this to cook it up also. Sure, why not? We'll come back for that. It's not like we're leaving it behind forever. So let's go inside, dump this stuff off. And maybe tonight I can figure out what else I'm going to do with an engine. Because, I don't know, it's kind of... I think we got time to make a couple of runs. Let's let's leave it open. See if we can. Live dangerous. Um. I forgot to check my battery. We'll have to do something about that later. Not really clicking the way I want it to. Um. Let's go back out and grab that last stuff. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up on the video here. Leave me some comments as to what you thought about how we've been doing. Uh, what I might do in the future. And if there's any pointers you can give me on things I might have missed, I do appreciate the help. I can grab all this stuff and I'll have to figure out how to put my bike together later. And subscribe for future content if you're not a member of my channel, and I will see you in the next one. I get on with your pursuit, and we'll just grab a few more things in order to take them down here and get them put away.